guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber from Kujin and today we're back with you guys with Black Clover episode 26. Yes. Last episode, uh, we had two things. You know, ended up uh, saving some food uh, and he gained a new fangirl before passing out. Uh, and Asta, Noel and uh, Leopold were looking for Fuego Leon and when he came out of the portal, he was missing an arm and dying. So now we need to keep him alive as much as possible while fighting back this group of people that just showed up because they were, you know, they wanted to see what was going on and yeah. it was taking the other guys so long. We so we might be in a little bit of trouble. Asta managed to get rid of the curse that was making him bleed by mm -hmm. cutting himself. So that stopped the curse and he's pumped up. Like he's really angry right now. He wants to fight them all, prove himself and save this guy. Uh, and uh, Leopold wants to, you know, avenge his brothers, so there's that. And uh, yeah, but I don't see, I mean, unless they show us how strong they are and they actually can kick ass, I I don't see how we can win this. So maybe we can just be able to just stall them. Stall them until the other captain arrives. If they can hurry up. Please. Or if some, I mean, maybe the wizard king can show, can show up. But yeah, I have faith in them. I'm just a bit worried. So let's jump in this episode and see what happens. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full-length reactions. All right, let's go! How quickly can they come back? Being a hundred miles away. They've got magic? Yeah, but none of them have a portal type of magic. They can fly for sure, but... It sounded a bit like, uh, the true magic was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Are you laughing now? Okay. Talk shit. Those who talk shit, they'll fall the hardest, you know? We'll show them. Hopefully. I mean, I think that these guys can talk shit and back it up, so... <laughs> Eventually, they won't be able to back it up. Please give them a run for the money. <laughs> Wounded beast. Us? We are wounded and we're pissed. Are you calling us animals? Yeah. We're black bulls. <laughs> She's still got middle. <laughs> hush, hush. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's great. Learn how to use your power, your ability. <laughs> Those weird eyes. <laughs> I never gave up! He's used to it, and it's sad. <laughs> no, he's like that usually. <laughs> they have all different types of magic. Hey! <laughs> he keeps spinning! <laughs> I do not know that word! Well, the brat is keeping you at bay, all of you. We're gonna have some growth as a character. <laughs> well, yeah, we are learning. He already showed that he was, you know, changing his way of doing things, so... <laughs> you can scream about it, but think. And we're not alone. Take that! With pleasure! <laughs> See, we are beasts! But are we wounded? Not yet. We are wounded. Uh, okay, okay. In there and over there. It was a cool shot, by the way, of them two back to back. Noel, yes. Do not forget about her. Yes. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's gonna take it all away. It's siphoning the water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, come on, guys. Stay awake. We need help. Anyone? Okay. Okay. Who is it? Oh, well, you were fast. Finally! You were so fast! It's about time! And they got their own soundtrack. 
And they're hero ending again. <laughs> we put aside our differences. We slingshot. <laughs> I'll think about acknowledging your strength. Somehow I'm not surprised that this is her type of magic. Fuck! Uh, no, no. Um, uh, Asta? Guys? Okay. Are you shitting me? Anyone else I'd be like, okay, I I mean possibly, but the main guy just got kidnapped. She wants to study him, I guess. They've never seen a, a sword like that or an ability like that. I don't feel so good, guys. Yeah. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Yeah. We're not talking to you. Oh, fuck you. Like, there's a point in what he said, but you could say it better. Ah, oh, slap them. Like you did so much better. Okay. Yeah, just shut up, man. <laughs> they are so full of themselves. At least Nozelle seems a bit aware. <laughs> we're, we're here worrying about Asta. It's okay, we're, we'll do it on our own, I guess. Asta. Hang in there? What are they gonna do to our boy? ただいなめよ、こう被ったぞ。あの方に気に入られているからと。こんなに手間取ることもなかったのだ。俺のおもちゃ関係ねえだろうが。キャサリンは多分捕らえられたっぽいし。知るかあんなババア。手に入れたから
The bar is uh woohoo! You're still young man, give yourself time. <laughs> it starts here. <laughs> Maybe they represent different types of magic. Do you recognize the eyelashes? Well, I'm trying to imagine the mask of William Bajas. <laughs> like, could it be him? <laughs> Oh, maybe someone from his family? I don't know, he was wearing... When we saw who we thought was William Vangelis, he was wearing the cape. Mm. So, Golden Dawn. Okay, oh, no, no, no. don't spoil, don't spoil. Okay, for a sec, I really thought that there was a king yeah. was on their side, because not in this one, but in the previous one, we said that, oh, it's odd. He's How not there. How convenient that he's not there when all of those... All of that is going on. Let's say maybe there was a, maybe there was a king. He's suspicious enough to be the bad guy. I guess he was the bad guy. No, I guess he was more aware of what was going on than we thought. And it just so happens that they invaded when he was looking out for you know their base or something. That stone. Yeah. Yeah. But um, when they said you know, uh, we'll have to wait uh, and see what the master says. Like, no one gets in there that is not accepted by the master. Mm -hmm. And then he said something about, like, I guess the, I, I assumed they were going to go join the master. And so as soon as they got in and the <laughs> Wizard King was in there, it's Asta we saw who was like, oh, what? So I didn't see their reaction at first. I only saw the Wizard King. So my brain went straight to, he's the master. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And it took me a sec to realize that we were reading, like, what's he doing here and stuff. I thought it was still Hasta who was saying that. Like, what the fuck is he doing here? So, no, it was the other guys. Okay. Be happy, then, that he's on our side because he is fucking strong. Time control. That would Time explain, magic. That would explain why uh, he can escape all those attacks. Like, it's nothing. Like, you can just manipulate time, then, yeah, you can find yourself in many places and... And just you know, stop time or, or make it slower and you make yourself mm. faster. I don't know the limits of his power, but it's pretty interesting. And since he's been studying different types of magic and he's been learning as much as possible, his level of knowledge would be through the roof. So on top of that, there's that as well. Mm. And he's the strongest for a reason. So there you go. But it's interesting to see a bit of that. And he said it's a fraction of what he can do. But I love that despite being fucking strong, the way he talked to them, it's still like a nice... Like, oh, I mean, I managed to stop all of you. I guess you were tired. Like, still not saying, you suck, you guys. Like, I'm so much stronger. <laughs> He's literally saying, like, oh, yeah, you're strong. And I guess you could, you, you would have given me trouble. But I guess you were, you were tired. Like, it's nice. It's, he's an interesting character. It's like a teacher with his students. Yeah. And uh, he's still, like, he's being nice to Asta as well. Like, oh, you want to surpass me. So this is what... You'll, a fraction of what you'll have to surpass. I love that Asta chose Look that. carefully what I'm about to do because well, this is the level that you need to be to surpass to become the magic. I think it's great because uh, that shows... Wizard King, sorry. I think it's great because it shows that he respects Asta's goal enough to not lie to him and be like, yeah, of course you can become the Wizard King. Like, No, he's going to show him what he has to mm. fight you know, against, what he has to surpass. Because it's not going to be an easy goal to reach and it's definitely going to be not going to be an easy journey so might as well not lie to you and if this is your goal i'm going to show you a part of how strong i am so you get the idea um asta is not afraid easily he's not you know he, cowering and stuff he was shaking but he managed to stop that and he refused the help of the wizard king because the guy literally showed you a part of his strength and you said your goal was to surpass him it starts here you cannot <laughs> accept his help you need to show that you're strong enough to fight against these guys and not let yourself be taken down. And I was really afraid because there was no way out of this prison. And I don't know what he would have done with them. But that girl f scares the fuck out of me. Probably dissect him. Dissect him, yeah. Le Noir body's type of magic. Well, even the or king. Or magic. The king had not heard of his type of, of weapon. And 
I keep trying to say his type of magic. It's not magic, his, but it's an ability. His type of and and time and magic. Time magic yeah. So, but like if you've never heard of that before, or it's like I don't know if there's more of that in the world, but at the very least, it's rare. Uh, yeah, you'd be interested in learning more about it and seeing what it can do and trying to find a way around it, maybe. Mm. Like, yeah, okay, I get it. But the way she talks about it, she looks crazy. And now I guess I don't know how that's going to go, but the the master, I'm assuming, showed up. And I am wondering if it's William Bosch's. <laughs> the coloring is right, but yeah. with the mask, we don't know. So we won't be able to see. Like this? Yeah. Those. But that's that's brilliant because like the all all the captains are kind of drama kings and queens like they all <laughs> have a certain style yeah. oh yeah so it's not out of the you know out of left field that william vengeance wears a helmet like that but it's a perfect way to hide his identity so we can have our doubts the eyelashes are my biggest clue that mm. and the fact that we saw the the golden dawn insignia insignia yeah. on him so that's why i'm thinking it's him And I mean, we we just said that if it was him who fought Fuego Leon, he needed to be at the very least uh, captain level. So, yeah. So a captain level in Golden Dawn, it has to be William Vargas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's not him, we'll feel so bad. <laughs> I'll be sorry. Sorry, man. But I mean, you look like a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm proud of Asta. Uh, him and uh, Leopold were badass this episode. That shot of them back to back fighting together was really cool. And mm. uh, they are made to be rivals. Like, I love Yuno and Asta's relationship, but Yuno does not match Asta's level of energy. Willpower? No, no, he has the willpower. He doesn't have his level of energy. He's more reserved. He's more, you know, uh, yeah, introvert. So um, I think on that side, Leopold just is perfect for Asta. They both scream. They both like lash out. He's fight. He's got a fire personality, and uh, they both had good reason also to fight in this episode. Like it was, it came down to this, and I'm happy mm. that uh, uh, Fuego Leon is alive. And the captain got there right on time. They surprised me with how fast they got there, but it's a good thing they were I'm there. I'm surprised that Nozel technically talked down solid about what he said. Uh, You're talking shit about a captain who was there fighting those guys while we were away. So we're not better than him. In this episode, I felt that the two younger siblings, well, out of the three, because I mean, Noelle is the youngest, but the, the two youngest of the three have this attitude of like, oh, it doesn't really matter, like, what they do or how strong they are like they expect to be treated like nobles so or royals yeah they're, they're royalty they expect to be treated like royalty so they have the attitude of people who had everything given to them mm -hmm. and they mock those who are strong it's kind of like they need to put them down to confirm how strong they are but when it comes to Nozelle I feel like maybe being the captain he's had more experience with these people he's seen them fight more maybe and since he went head to head with Fuego Leon earlier like if they did that before or if you know they went face to face like that maybe he felt his his magic so I'm gonna go on out on the limb and say that maybe he respects strong opponents and it just comes down to that like for example His insults are less pity, like, ah, we want to mock you because ah, you, we don't like you, kind of the, like the other two siblings. His insults are just facts. Like, you're weak, so I'm going to call you weak. You're, uh, you're a failure in our family, so I'm going to call you a failure. It's nothing like, oh, I'm going to talk shit to you because I want to make you feel bad. Just to talk shit about you. Yeah, basically. it's just, like, it's kind of like he's more to the fact and the truth hurts and he knows it hurts, but he's going to say it anyway. It's kind of like he has no filter. This is the vibe I'm getting from him. No, because someone really like that doesn't really care if it hurts. Yeah, but someone like that would say that about Fuego Leon. So like, yeah, he got taken down. He got beaten by, by those invaders. But we're no better because we were sent away. So if a guy like that, who I know is strong and I respect his strength. I don't like him, but I respect his strength. If a guy like that was taken down and we were sent away and surprised and, and we were stopped for a minute, mm -hmm. then we're no better. If, if anything were worse, he's just stating the facts. And, and I mean, being a captain, I guess that's good because he would need to understand that you need to pump up your team, you need to make them focus on the goal, you need to... Yeah. And I like what he said about 
their goal being you know, to protect the capital and stuff. I don't like how he said to just leave us that to his you know, own device. I mean, we're gonna focus on Fregolion and Leopold because these guys can protect the city compared to Asta, I guess. He's, he had a point. But yeah, he just, like, like you said, he doesn't really have tact. No filter, so, no filter at so, all. So like I said, like, he had a point. It's just the, there are better ways to say this and he does not really care who he hurts by saying that. So there's that. But uh, yeah, I felt that compared to the other two, maybe he's less emotional or full of himself. He's more, he still has that air of superiority, but maybe he backs it up better. <laughs> and he's more, you know, he's more aware of the facts so if you're strong he's, he's gonna still, respect he's that he's still a pompous bastard but yes. he backs it up <laughs> yes <laughs> and and he recognizes strength in a way since nozelle gives me the idea the the, the impression that he, he says the facts and he makes it sound like these are just this is just the reality so accept it like you suck maybe he, he I hate him more because he knows the truth hurts and he's, he still say he still says it and he is one of the more he's the most cruel out of the three I feel it's just that what he says hits deep compared to the other two or are just like eh, you suck they're childish <laughs> in their way of hurting Noel yeah he, he knows to attack where it's uh, hurt the most hurt yeah. more yeah. yeah anyway so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching it with us. If you want to see the next two episodes right away, they are on Patreon already. Mm -hmm. You can check them out. The link is in the description below. If you don't want to, the next one will be on YouTube pretty soon. So, we're going to see you then, guys. Bye. Bye.